The NDC in a press conference, among other things, cautioned the EC to renounce any plans of rigging the December elections. The Electoral Commission wasted no time in denouncing any such allegation. They stress their dealings have been transparent. The Electoral Commission is in no position to rig the 2024 general elections for any party. The electoral process is transparent and contains all the necessary checks and participation of all stakeholders, especially the political parties, such that rigging an election in Ghana is impossible. On the concern of not submitting registration official details, the EC said it had complied with CI-91. We concede the 14-day deadline was not met. That said, we can confirm that during regional IPAC, that is the RIPAC and district IPAC, that's DIPAC meetings, several days before the commencement of the regime exercise, all political parties received the list of registration officials. Touching on the suggestion it's disenfranchised voters in Sal, the commission again rejected the assertion. It is not in the interest of the commission to disenfranchise any citizen. The discerning general public should be able to apportion blame where blame should lie in the unfortunate situation that denied the good people of Sao representation in parliament. The blame does not lie with the electoral commission who only had to perform its constitutional duties following the creation of the Guan district. The general public is urged once again to ignore the campaign to perpetrate the false narrative that the Electoral Commission disenfranchised South voters in 2020. In all, 391,111 first-time voters have been registered after nine days of the ongoing limited voter registration exercise.